Hi you guys, it's Sherry Dream is I'm being um, targeted in Baltimore, Maryland at the moment. That's where I'm at, you guys. But I've been talking to my daughter today and something that stuck out, not with what my daughter said, I'll get that to, I'll get to that in a minute. But what Janet Jamerson said. She said when adoption is too painful and you don't want to go through adoption, so you buy kids on the black market. She did say this, that you contribute to the criminal aspect of pedophiles, whether you like it or not. That's what she said. I remember reading it. Okay, so my kids were sold on the black market, but not to pedophiles. So this was very interesting to me. Because they're sold to a good family. They were Christian, this and that, you know, the persona that they put out there, you know. We got to pretend I'm schizo and I'm crazy. I'm the drug addict. And they are the good people that saved my children and my grandson, right? That's, that's, that's what we have to put out there. Because, uh, uh, that's what they said. They said, okay, but I was able to raise kids. My daughter was, my oldest daughter was almost 16 when they were taken. So I remind you, I was a good mom up until that point, right? All of a sudden, I just got schizophrenic at 35. Hmm, that's a little strange to get schizophrenic, right? I've never met anyone who got schizophrenic at 35. Have, have any of you guys? I just want to ask. Oh, it's because I know who targeted me. <laughs> okay. And so, with this said, my boyfriend also told me, because Cherie, someone puts a lovely picture on Facebook, doesn't mean they're good. Because I try to justify Oh, my daughter and my grandson's in good hands because they are good people because they're not pedophiles, right? But he's right. They're not good people. People who buy kids on the black market because they don't want to deal with adoption because it's too painful, so they find the easier way out are contributing to those people that buy kids on a black market for pedophile reasons. I I just learned this, okay? So even though my daughter and my grandson was adopted by a good family on the outside, you know, doesn't mean they were good. And I have to remind myself, God doesn't hurt somebody else. Like me. He doesn't hurt me to make your life better. That's not what God does. That's what the devil does. And I have to remind myself of that. So even though that they have happy pictures of my, me, of my kids and, and them and they look so beautiful and they look like they're doing nothing wrong in life, deep down under that lair, we all know that you did something wrong. And I just want the truth. Quit using me as a cover-up. Quit using me as your crutch. That you saved my kids from a drug addict mother. And a schizophrenic mother. I was not schizophrenic, bitch. And I never did drugs until this CPS lady uh, hired somebody to get me to do them. Let's speak the truth. Let's speak the truth. If you love God so much, you will speak the truth. Because I want my kids to know the truth. Why do you think I keep fighting? Because I'm not going to sit there and let you guys keep abusing me like this. I'm not. That's for real. <laughs>